it is currently 5 30 in the morning so right about now i usually like to take some time just to drink some coffee kind of prepare myself mentally and from here i take my gym bag and my work bag and my work bag basically has my computer um all my printers are in my office so i don't really have any printers at home but from here it basically just takes some time just kind of reflecting about what i'm gonna do for the day um and then just basically head out so typically in the day for me it's like i go i wake up um, around like 5 by 5.45, I'm out the house. By 6.20ish, I'm at the office. And then from around 6.30 all the way up to 12 p.m., I am in deep work. So I'm usually like working for several hours at a time on my, either my company or on designs or on prints or with my team. And then right around 12 to 1, that's when I have my lunch. And then from like 1.30 or 1 o'clock to all the way to like 2.30, that's when I go to the gym and then I come back. Sometimes depending on what I need to do. So for example, if I have a print, um, then I would, for example, just have that printing while I'm at the gym, come back. And if it's not a long print, we just send another one off and then go home. But if it's like a print that requires more time, then I might just send it off to print and go home. So it depends on the day and more so since my printers or depending on what I'm making, I could be tied to my printers. Sometimes I'm not. Um, and that's kind of like the beauty if you're selling STL files or if you're just like selling digital downloads. But other than that, um, nothing too tedious, nothing too bad. But that's it, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Okay, so just got to the office. I have a couple of prints or more specifically, just one print that I had sent overnight yesterday. Uh, so for today, I pretty much have everything mapped out in my Notion. So I just have to go ahead and do that. First thing is just check out what our prints look like since we had something to print. So today we have these 3D printable mini sharks. So these mini sharks are flexies are articulated and just to kind of show you what they look like basically look like this and these are these mini sharks they are articulated the fin bends the back piece bends the little arms bend and as well as the top um, and as well as there's an insert here for the bottom so you can add some sort of magnet uh, the main thing here is that this is supposed to be a fridge magnet so you can essentially add a magnet here and then use it to mount stuff on your fridge pretty much made a couple of these here i'm um, gonna see how these work in terms of uh, the magnet and even more specifically since um, I have people within my program who files every single week this is one of the files that we have listed or that's going to be listed so it's a pretty cool designs um, one thing about this is that since I don't use multicolor for some of my prints like I mentioned in a previous video for some of my prints I don't use multicolor I'm gonna have to draw this one in with some black sharpie um, just to give it that effect for the product photos but other than that I think the print turned out well so it's pretty much it for now what I'm gonna do is just get into work and kind of just walk you through it okay so i want to walk you through what it looks like to fill in and add some color to this design this is especially useful if you don't have an ams or don't want to extend the time it takes to print something for me i like to use a black sharpie especially for eyes to draw this in this works really well with more darker colors and matte filaments um, this shark was also printed with PLA carbon fiber, so the Sharpie ink won't bleed through the surrounding layers, which is an actual issue for more glossier or um, not so premium filaments. But for me, I like to draw this in mainly because it saves me time in terms of printing and reduces purge to literally almost zero since this is just a single color print and you really couldn't tell the difference. So I have a couple of changes and it's gonna be based off of the existing designs that we have. Um, they're not any on any particular order in terms of like date. I just basically scheduled it out. Yeah, so like each leg of the octopus would be a Size, then we can remove it from the main body. Yeah, correct. So um, yeah. I can, like, for on my on my end, I could 3D print it. So like the body is gonna be like a hard shell, but the legs will be like this, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but they're bendable, so I, I have something for that to make it bendable. That's just one of the designs. The next one is the turtle shell. So what I noticed with the turtle shell as well is that I think it'd be a good idea to design like a bottle opener underneath it. So it, would, it wouldn't it would change anything specifically about the design. It's more so underneath the shell. So for example, um, but yeah, other than that, uh, the main thing, like I said, the octopus, I think the octopus would be easiest. 
the turtle shell bottle opener would be easiest. I think the ones that may require some like thinking is the lobster and the crab. All right, so it's right about lunchtime now. Got everything that needs to do done for the day, at least in terms of the new designs that we have that we're working on. So the main thing here, let me just fix this really quick. The main thing we have here for today was that I had uploaded the video onto social media, which is mainly primarily like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and Pinterest. Those are like my four main traffic sources. Uh, we also sent out an email to our list, letting them know about our new design for existing students and as well as potential students. Um, also distributed it across other platforms to increase the reach and also posted to stories uh, promoting the product as well. So that's kind of like the marketing plan for new products, regardless of whatever it is, even if it's the same thing. Um, there's days where if I don't have a new product ready to market or ready to promote like an STL file, then typically I just might re-promote it again because you know, people on social media, like they're not really paying too much attention. So you kind of have to give people a reminder if you really want to do well. So that's pretty much it for now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some lunch. Then after that, head to the gym in about like an hour or so, and then come back and mainly edit this video that you're watching right now, which is essentially for that. But that pretty much wraps it up. So I'm about to eat lunch and then continue on the next thing. Okay, so just had some lunch in about 30 minutes or 40 minutes or so, I'm gonna head to the gym. I'm about to take some pre-workout around that time. But I wanted to share with you guys something that really helped me out a lot, especially when it comes to getting work done early in the morning and then having the rest of the day off in terms of just having more time for yourself. So I fell for this trap in the very beginning was that I thought that in order to get ahead, I had to work like 50 hours, 60, 70, 80 hours per week on my business in order to make progress. And truthfully, while you could technically work a really long time for an extended period of time to get ahead, while that can work for some people, most often than not, if you can just work on one or two things that will actually move the needle forward, and at least spend three to four hours per day on those tasks that will actually make the impact, then I promise you'll not only make much more progress, but honestly, you will feel much more fulfilled doing it rather than just having to power on every single day, just wake up and go from 5 a.m. all the way to 9 p.m. at night because I've done that before. I have worked from 5 a.m. all the way to 9 and I still have nothing to show for it. But there's days and weeks where I spent a lot less time from 5 a.m. all the way to 12 at noon where I've done a lot, gotten a lot more done, the actual things that matter and that actually make an impact compared to just working all day long on these minute things that really don't matter. And I kind of fell into this trap for a really long time. I get stuck on these micro things that just don't matter. And when I started focus on the ma focusing on the macro, macro being like, what makes you in terms of business? What makes you the most amount of money? Uh, what makes you, you know, stand out? What kind of impact you can do? And then in terms of physical health, like what exercises or what movements or what things aren't you doing that are limiting you in terms of strength, in terms of power, in terms of speed, in terms of weight, in terms of whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. And as well as in your personal life, like, are you actually meditating? Are you actually consuming less sugar, uh, consuming, um, you know, more positive material for your mental health? You know, are you not binging Netflix all the way to 2 a.m. in the morning? You know, things like that. Although they are so simple things. Honestly, I have not binged Netflix or played Xbox to 2 in the morning in a really long time. That's something I used to do when I was younger. When I was younger, maybe like when I was in my around 20 years old, I would stay up all night with my buddies from like early in the morning all the way to like 3 a.m. And I would repeat that process over and over. And, and even more so when I was going out and partying, now it's like, okay, well, if I want to build a business, I can't really do these things anymore. And plus to do all these other things, they cost money. And if I want to build a business or I want to build something or make an impact, I got to reallocate my energy and time into this thing that's going to take up most of my time. Not saying that you can't still have fun. It just means that you kind of have to limit your resources and put your resources and your attention into the thing that matters the most, which is whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. For me, it is growing my community. It's building more, creating more, putting more stuff and content out there, uh, putting myself out there because for me, I'm not used to talking to the camera. Honestly, I have a Instagram page with like 15,000 followers, 20,000. I have a TikTok with around 30K and I get people that ask me or message me like, hey, um, how do you grow your page or how do you 
you know get views and stuff like that and truthfully i don't even know like i don't really like making content like that i don't like being in front of the camera and i don't even like giving tips or tricks and stuff like that that type of stuff doesn't really feel right that doesn't help you the viewer what helps you the viewer is actually seeing someone doing it and then you being able to be like you know what i can do that too instead of just saying do X, Y, and Z instead of, I'm just gonna say here, this is what I'm doing, this is X, uh, I'm doing X right now, and Z is the result, which is what I got the result today or tomorrow or the month later. And just to kind of preface, for example, when I share like content like this, it's just to help you guys because really a lot of you guys, I got a lot of students that ask like, hey, how do I get started? How do I make money? How do I create files or designs? Or how do I put myself out there? Or I have no 3D modeling skills or, you know, just simple questions that realistically the most, the easiest answer to these questions is really just to do what it is that they're avoiding doing, avoiding to do. But in reality, people are, are much more, humans are much more complicated than that. And sometimes you just need someone to push you a little bit in order for you to actually do what it is you need to do and sometimes it gives you a confidence boost when someone who is doing what you're doing or what you want to do and they are telling you to do this and then you're more inclined to do it because they are pushing you and it gives you that confidence to do that which is why you want to look for mentors and people who are way ahead of, ahead of you in terms of skill level money financially relationship etc pretty much done with my lunch so pretty much good to go but then, like i said i'm about to do some admin tasks right now and then take some pre-workout head out to the gym and yeah pretty much it okay so one thing i do want to add is kind of the way i organize my work so for most of you if you've been following me for a while my main business is around selling stl files and digital products i used to sell physical stuff but more on that tomorrow but what i want to talk about here is kind of like my workflow so i already mentioned that i plan everything out with a tomorrow today list um but i also have like a calendar that's already preset for me so i spend my sundays my sundays are spent planning tomorrow today and in this document there's like a list of things i could do for the week that are going to move the needle forward and then of course the needle moving forward is everything that happens here which one is creating content two is publishing designs and three is creating new designs as well so, so those are the main three things realistically in any business um, that's going to lead the the boat forward so one like i said uh, creating new designs, two, marketing those designs, and three is selling those designs online. So whatever that could be in whatever platform you decide to use. So this is kind of like my general overview. And I also want to note that I don't have more than ever three things on my calendar here. So for example, here I have the upload YouTube video for this video that I have right now. Um, more than likely, it will be uploaded either Tuesday or it will be scheduled for Wednesday, but it will still be uploaded on this Tuesday. Then we have our newest design, which is a turtle shell bottle opener. And you'll see that if you follow my channel. So there'll be a link in the description. Just go ahead and check that out. And also with that said, we also have all of the additional pieces of work that we have. And we have designs that we have here that we already made and designed from last week, but now we are marketing it and creating kind of like a timeline and workflow as to what it is gonna be. And these pages here will basically explain it. Obviously, if I open the page, it's gonna show <laughs> what I'm doing. But like I said, this is kind of like how you wanna structure your weeks. Everything is listed out here internally. So this allows us to organize our thoughts and what we're gonna do for tomorrow today. So you know exactly on Tuesday, if someone calls me and they're like, hey, what are you doing today? I am uploading a YouTube video and I'm also publishing my new design here. That is literally my tomorrow today. And anyone that sees this calendar will be like, oh, Brandon is doing this that day. And everything else, assuming that I get all these things done, um, even if I get this done early, then I can either chill out for the rest, rest of the day or, uh, move on and move on to the next task and get that done ahead of time, which usually I just tend to just move on to the next thing. So hopefully this helps and hopefully this is not um, overwhelmed you in any way. Okay, so just got back from the gym. Um, I got me some juice, which is my post-workout snack and a little bit of Greek yogurt and some banana. So it's really simple stuff. Typically for me, right after I go to the gym, I wanna have something light. I know for most people, especially if you're like in the gym space, if you like work out a lot, typically would wanna have a heavier meal right after you work out. Um, it's supposed to the science behind it. I'm not sure too, too sure about it, so don't quote me on that. But I believe it's supposed to be better when you eat after your workout to replenish like lust, um, repair muscle fast or something like that. I could be wrong. This I don't, I'm not into the gym as much anymore. But um, for me, since I'm still gonna get back to work, um, usually I wanna have something light. This would be like my light snack just to kind of fill me up just a little bit. I can get back to work and then right after that, I would have my heavier meal, which is my lunch or my, excuse me, my dinner. 
and you know my dinner is basically like after that i'm not going to work i'm just going to basically just kind of cool off plan tomorrow today and move on to the next thing and that's pretty much my day so i'm gonna eat up the snack get to work and see you guys soon all right so i'm pretty much wrapping up for the day i just have one of my printers running i don't have anything to print right now for this one um also this is giving me like bed adhesion issues so i'm not sure whether it's the build play or it's the filament but i currently have a print going on right now so right before i leave i obviously want to make sure that this is printing so this is going to be a 13 hour print so fingers crossed by tomorrow i don't have any issues in terms of this thing or this thing jamming or something like that i swear it's always the most ridiculous things that these things don't work Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with them. So we're about to check out and head out. All right, so pretty much done for the day. Um, since I have these machines printing what I need to print, I'm pretty much all set. So fingers crossed, nothing goes wrong. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.